In this section, we're going to be focusing on friction, and a lot of what we work with is based on what you learnt as part of A-level maths. So, a quick rundown of what we should be aware of. Well, first of all, if you've got a particle on a horizontal rough ground, then you're going to have the weight working vertically downwards. It's in contact with the surface, so there'll be a normal reaction force. There is likely to be some kind of force uh, either pulling it along or pushing it along, so I'll call that P. And if that is the direction of motion, then friction must go against that direction of motion. Now, we have a formula for friction uh, with R. And that is that the friction is less than or equal to mu times r. Now, if the particle um, or the block uh, on the rough ground is not moving, uh, and it's not on the point of moving, then the friction will be less than mu times r. If it is on the point of moving, or if it is moving, then friction is equal to mu times r. OK? So this is the formula we use. And in the majority of cases, uh, you've got the particle is moving, in which case you most often use friction equals mu times r. OK? But in general, this is the formula that we work with. Now, we might get situations where we're on a slope. So, for example, if this is your angle theta, it's really all about making sure that you can label your diagram. So the weight has to work vertically downwards. And then, if we complete a right angle triangle, this angle will also be theta. This opposite side of the right angle triangle is mg sine theta, and the adjacent side is mg cosine theta. Now, the block is in contact with a surface, so there'll be a normal reaction force that works perpendicular to the surface. And then you might have something like uh, the block is being pulled up the slope by a force P, and then friction will work against the direction of motion. And in these, both these problems, you can utilise, of course, friction is less than or equal to mu r. Now, mu here, remember, is the coefficient of friction. And quite a common error is to think that uh, the coefficient of friction has to be between 0 and 1. It doesn't. Um, the coefficient of friction can be greater than 1. Um, so... Don't be worried if the value that you get is greater than 1 and you go, oh, that has to be wrong. It probably isn't wrong, OK? Um, but um, it just means that the surface is very rough.